Yes, good morning YouTube. This will be part four of trying to answer the following question. Does a Raspberry Pi plus Kodi equal a media center extender? In a previous video I listed some key features of a media center extender. So let's continue through those comparing media center or an extender to Kodi. Feature number five is manage the TV recording schedule adding and modifying recording events. I'll separate this into basic and re advanced recording features. I'll define basic recording as selecting an upcoming show and scheduling it for individual or series recording. Advanced recording features involve managing recordings, setting priorities, and wish list type of recording. I'll cover these in a follow-up video. First off, let's look at basic recording features. I'll run through some examples to illustrate how recording works between Kodi and Windows Media Center. Here's my Kodi system and I went and triggered a recording off of Kodi or a timer as they call it. And up in the corner here you can see where it's got the little logo and says currently recording. Yeah, so let's take a look here in Media Center and see what it says. It's view scheduled. So it's showing Mr. Ed today recording now. And let's see, there it's showing that I'm recording Mr. Ed. Can't tell any difference between recording, starting a recording off of Kodi or starting a recording off of Media Center because that's essentially all that happens when you use the server WMC package is that Kodi is just telling Media Center to start a recording and that would be very similar to using an extender to start that recording it looks like it was started right here. Okay, so I've fired up a second Kodi system. This one's in a different room in the house and I've connected to the same server WMC machine and you can see this Kodi system picks up the recording that was started on the other system. It says it's currently recording and if I go into recordings so there's recording now. So this is a show that's, that's actually still being recorded right now. It's recording until 11.30. And there we go. You've got the program thumbnail, little one-line synopsis. Yeah, there it looks like that is... A show so this show was scheduled on a Kodi system in one room and I can watch it as it's recording on a Kodi system in another room and let's go back here yeah so here I can actually look at the recording timer that was set up by the other Kodi system and maybe I can go here Maybe what we can do is I'll try to set up a timer. Cody calls these things timers. They're not recordings. And then, it's funny, you add a timer and then it asks you if you want to record. And then you say, this episode only. So you can do series and if you deselect that you can then set up your series recordings. It's reasonably good if you're picking things out of the program guide. It's pretty similar to Media Center and you can see now it's it's got a check mark saying it's going to record that show and then up here currently recording, next recording. So Yeah here you can see my server WMC screen. The TV we were looking at was Sony TV and then I've just turned on my office TV and now Cody is connecting there. Here's my recorded TV folder. 
here's the show that we recorded from 11 to 11.30, and here's the one that just started. This is the network share that you set up in server WMC. So that's this folder here, Users Public Recorded TV. And if we look in Media Center, let's see, there's scheduled recordings. They show up right there in Media Center. This is my office TV. And let's see, right up there it says, Currently recording Lassie and Mr. Ed. And if we come down here and look at the timers. So there's the two timers. One that I started on this Cody system and one that was started on another Cody system in another room. And if I go to recordings, recording now. I can watch, and you can see here, in the other room, we skipped forward about three minutes. So I stopped viewing in one room. I've come to another room on another system, and I can say, let's resume where we left off. And there we go. So I can resume, I can uh, pause, resume. Maybe I can jump forward. There I'm at 427. I can stop viewing that. Okay, we're back in the other room. So I was watching Mr. Ed. I'd started viewing in this room, viewed the first three minutes, and then I viewed the next minute and a half, and now I can resume exactly where I left off. You can start viewing a movie in one room and pause it and go to another room and resume viewing from where you left off. I remember my DirecTV with their whole house DVR, they advertised that was a big feature on their whole house DVR is you could start watching a movie in one room, stop, go to another room and start viewing. You know, that works as you would expect. Again, these are over-the-air TV, so they're not DRM protected recordings. These are just over-the-air, copy-freely type of programming. That's what allows this to work. If this were an HBO or Showtime series recording, you're not going to do this on Kodi. Okay, in the second half of this video, I'll delve into the more advanced recording features, so stay tuned for that video. And as always, thanks for watching.